Mr. Obama will go to Washington Monday to face Beltway battles as president-elect. But after dining with friends Saturday, he stayed in Sunday watching others do battle as his Chicago Bears took on the undefeated Tennessee Titans. Come January, he will be inheriting a titanic mess few would envy. We're on the edge of a recession. We have two wars going on. We have nuclear weapons expanding around the world. We have global climate change threatening our existence. That combination of issues makes this moment fraught with opportunities. Obama will have a longtime friend watching his back. Rahm Emanuel, his choice to be chief of staff. The Illinois congressman and former Clinton aide is known for his sharp elbows and even sharper tongue. Today on CBS's Face the Nation, he promised Obama will be ready day one. The crisis we have here, the American people know we have one, and they are ready and willing to start to tackle those problems. You cannot afford now to kick those down the can any longer. We have a short-term need of getting the economy uh, moving, which means getting Americans working. Obama and his wife, Michelle, will tour their new home, the White House, tomorrow. It is a special meeting. We take great pride in, in the way we deal with uh, uh, transfer of power from one government to the next. Uh, and uh, so I expect it to be a very you know, a respectful meeting. They'll have a wonderful conversation. And, um, uh, and like I said, we're all looking forward to it. But the truth is, until he takes office, Barack Obama is just Senator Obama, perhaps first among equals, but still one voice among a hundred. His plans, his promises on hold until January. Randall? Thanks, Cynthia Bowers in Chicago.